the circle of life, right? Something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. My thought is this, <laughs> this is the circle of NHL life, uh, I think. And, and this is what happens. You know, it's funny. You say the ages of these guys on Anaheim, right? 19 years old, 21 years old. I think this is how dynastic teams start to see it slip away. And I'm not saying it's definitively slipping away for the Penguins, but it will be in the next couple of years. I think we all know that. I wanted this core back. I didn't think they had any real better options in free agency. But time was that a team with that kind of rebuilding posture like Anaheim, with that young of a core, would come into Pittsburgh and get boat raced. Right, Bob? Like, they would Mm -hmm. just come in and, oh, my God, we're playing the Penguins, just like teams did for those late 2000s Red Wings. You know, you'd come in and see them still in 07 or 08. Oh, my goodness, it's the Red Wings. Or, oh, it's the Blackhawks. Or, oh, it's the Kings. We're going to get mugged out here on the ice. We got no chance. And then as those teams start to age out, even if they're still good, still capable of winning a game, you see nights like this where they do it by the skin of their teeth. They probably don't deserve it. It's been a theme for the Penguins of late where they have just played pretty uninspired hockey. I think it's what happens and what you should expect to happen when a team is this old. The question is, are there any realistic shakeups that they can make that give them a little jolt of energy? Otherwise, you're gonna to start to get into a pretty precarious position if this sort of languishing on the rope style of hockey continues. Yeah, I don't know that Ron Hextall can do much. You know, he chose to make his situation what it is right now by bringing everybody back and signing them and going for one more opportunity. And again, like you, I didn't have necessarily a problem with it, but I still think they needed to find more beyond the top six and the elite players. Their system is sort of bereft of talent right now. They don't have a lot of guys who are knocking on the door to come up here and play. We saw John Gruden play tonight. Uh, Not that John Gruden. And, uh, you know, he's a physical kid, 22. They acquired him in the Matt Murray trade. I don't know what he can bring here. O'Connor's been up. I'd like to see him play more. But other than that, they don't have many things. So if you're on Hexto, I don't know what you do other than hope your team can get it together. You have some winnable games coming up. Get yourself in a playoff, be healthy and playing okay at the playoff and see what happens at this point. I mean, I think that that's their battle plan. I mean, don't you? I, I yeah. just they they cast their lot with Latang, Malkin, and Crosby. And I will say again, I'm not gonna just bury them for it. Like I might rip Sullivan for certain in-game coaching moves or decisions or how he shuffles the deck, but once you said 58, 71, 87 is still how we're gonna proceed for the next three to five years or whatever. Okay. I mean, this is what it is. They need to rip off seven in a row again. I think it gets tougher as the legs get wearier later in the season and your older guys just feel even older, but that's their chance. And if you were somebody that was happy to see those three retained, I don't think you necessarily have grounds to complain. If you were beating the table, if you're somebody out there that wants to call in that was hammering the table saying they should have moved on, enough was enough. Okay, then you've got a gripe here. But I think most people wanted this core to stay together. One more run for these guys. This is how it can shake out when it doesn't work. Yeah, and it would help that Kapanen would start scoring on a regular basis and other people as well. They haven't gotten that. They need that. We'll take a break here, Chris. We'll talk about crazy stuff in the NFL, including something we've never seen until tonight happening in Tampa. We'll talk about that and more as we continue right here. It's 412-575-2600. Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call on Pittsburgh CW.